Hey, Radio Horror YouTube fans. Today we're looking at one of my favorite science fiction, fantasy, horror movies. Combinations. It's got monsters. It's got deep sea diving. It's got an awesome cast. It's got great writing. Deep Star 6. A cover to this DVD or VHS tape when I was a kid in the 80s always really spooked me just to see this diver suit ripped in half. And we got the DVD to look at and the Blu-ray. And the Blu-ray just recently came out, um, I'd say maybe a couple months ago, DVD has been out of print for a little while from Artisan Entertainment and pretty much bare bones. We're going to take a quick look at both of them. So, the DVD, as I said, is completely bare bones. It's just the DVD. You've got the insert little um, catalog of Artisan films, and then, of course, what the different chapters are on the DVD. With a picture of our two heroines right there. And I believe maybe a diver suit in the background. So, that is it. Now... The picture on the disc is a monster grabbing our main heroine, which is pretty cool. Um, I always liked it when they took a little extra care to put a picture on the disc and it wasn't just the logo. And on the back of this, that's pretty much all you get for bonus material as well. You get a cool shot of the monster in the back, which again, as a kid, always really spooked me out. The diver suit and our two leads. I believe that's Nancy Everhart, I believe, in the picture, too, with the monster. Little fact I didn't know about this movie, Kane Hodder worked on this movie. He was the stunt coordinator, and he actually was uh, sometimes the monster itself. He was, like, puppeteering the monster, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to take a look at the Blu-ray. Now we have the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray comes to us from Kino Lorber Studios. Um, they release... A lot of the films that you don't see, Vestron, Scream Factory, Shout Factory, um, and other studios release. So maybe they got the other catalog of films, which is pretty nice. And Arrow. Arrow is also pretty well known for releasing a lot of cult classic films too. And they've been putting out a lot of great stuff. And as you can tell, this film is chock full of bonus material. We have on here audio commentary by director Sean S. Cunningham and visual effects supervisor James Isaac. And Sean S. Cunningham, if you don't know who he is, he was the director of Friday the 13th. He's the father of Jason Voorhees. Audio commentary with screenwriters Louis Abernathy and Jeff Miller. Isolated score selections with audio interview by Harry Manfredi. He was also the composer of the Friday the 13th. From the Deep, interviews with creature effects and special effects designer Mark Sharston, creature supervisor Greg Nicotero, and creature artist Robert Kurtzman. Survivors, interviews with our two leads, Greg and Nancy. Water damage, interview with stunt coordinator, as I said, Kane Hauner. Vintage uh, interview clips, original EPK, BTS footage, behind the scenes footage. So this is like original behind the scenes footage, like old archived interviews. Image gallery, theatrical trailer, and TV spot. And then there's also a trailer on here for Deep Rising which is interesting, but that's also a creature underwater, in the water, boat on the water kind of film as well that came out in the 90s, which also came out from this studio, which is fantastic, and we will get to a review of that soon too, because I have, my roommate has the DVD. Now, on the cover right here, you have some amazing looking um, <clears throat> artwork. You have the standard cover with the diver suit, not aliens, not all aliens come from this space, and then save your last breath to scream. I don't know who the artist is on this. I don't think this was a newly commissioned artwork. I think this is a foreign release poster, but that is fantastic. It's got the ship right there, and then a great close-up of the monster, which looks truly terrifying. Now, the disc for this is sitting in my Blu-ray player, so it's not here, but just to let you know, they don't put the pictures on the disc. It just says the name of the studio and the name of the movie. So it's not too bad. And then back of the slipcase and the Blu-ray have the same images. You have this uh, crew camaraderie scene as they're all sitting around eating dinner. Kind of like Alien, which is pretty cool. If you have a chance to pick this up, definitely do it. I don't know how long these um, KL Studio film releases stay in... Uh, St KL Studio Classics, excuse me stay in print um but uh, this one just came out so you should still be able to find it pretty recently if you've never seen deep star six i highly recommend checking it out watch it with both of both of the commentaries one of the commentaries was uh recorded during the covid pandemic so if you're watching this in the future that's why they happen to mention that 
and it's definitely a great insight into the writers and the directors of this fantastic science fiction movie. They were trying to beat a lot of other movies that were coming out, like The Abyss and Leviathan, because it was basically the late 80s, and everyone was putting out science fiction water films. I might possibly have somebody from this movie on my radio show, Radio Horror, so stay tuned here on the Radio Horror YouTube channel for that, and check out Deep Star 6. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, everyone.